Hey everyone, my name's Amigon, and today I'm bringing you a buried Easter egg um, on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So, this is going to be a walkthrough on every step on how to do the buried Easter egg. Alright, so what you want to do is after you slide down, you want to go get the chalk and then put the chalk on the wall. But then you also want to go let out Leroy. Leroy is essential for the next few steps. So once you let him out, you have to give him the booze, give him the booze, and set him free. Now, this Easter egg is very, very can be done very, very easily if you have lots of money in the bank. As you see, I actually have a max bank in this. I got this just for coming into this game, just to make sure I had enough to do the Easter egg. With me, I actually have TMG Azuri, I have TMG Screamo, and I have TMG Amber Ninja. And they all are going to help me set up, they're going to help me get all the parts, train the zombies, do whatever, just to get through this Easter egg. So basically, as you see, I'm taking out 40k out of the bank, just to make sure I have enough. And actually, a minute into the game, you're going to hear Rick Toffin speak. Samuel? Samuel Stolinger? What? Russman are buddies, but uh, I hate that girl with the passion. We have no time for such my friend. I fear that Max has been manipulate your companions into following his orders. You're a very convincing liar. For now, you must focus on only gaining control of the tower above ground. It is more important than you can possibly imagine. So, no pressure then? The components necessary to build an energy conduit to power the tower can all be sourced from this location. When you find them, you must ensure that they are not used to help the rats. Alright, so that's the start of the Easter egg. Remember, Stuinger is the only one that can hear Rick Toffin speak. What I'm doing now is I'm actually going to lock down the box. What you do is you grab candy from the candy store and you give it to Leroy next to the box and he will lock it down. It will not move for the rest of the game. This is important because it allows the one spot that's easily accessible to everyone and you can hit as many times as you want, won't move, nothing. So basically what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get ready. So we're trying to get everything we need. We're trying to get monkeys. We're trying to get time bomb. We're trying to get the paralyzer. We are hitting this box over and over and over again just to get it. I should pick it with a ballistic knife because it's good for later rounds, reviving teammates, and also getting a free 10 point perk. So as you see, I just got the ray gun, and now everyone else is going to hit. They're going to try and get the time bomb. They're trying to get monkeys. Paralyzer again. The paralyzer is very essential because it is needed in one of, the, um, one of these second steps. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going around making sure everything's open. We're going to start getting all four of our perks. If you actually get four perks before round four, you actually get a secret hidden perk, Tombstone. You guys should remember this from Transit. If you go down, you keep your perks. So anyways, now I'm just buying booze. I'm going to go and open up all the doors. going to open up Juggernaut. going to go open up the chalk room. going to go open up middle of the map. going to open up Witch's House. Everything. All, you need to open up all these areas to get through this Easter egg. So now I'm just getting the chalk room open. One of the parts to the guillotine is actually in the chalk room. What you do is you go in and you turn left. Or if you come from the bank, you turn is right on your right as you go in. Now I'm just opening the rest of the doors. Because in the third step, I believe, when you have to call the wisp, you actually have to have every area open just to make sure you can hit it. The areas they can spawn, the wisp can go to. Oh, as you see, Amber Ninja just got the paralyzer, and I think I'm about to get monkeys, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, if as soon as you you need to open up all the areas, they spawn in the general store, they spawn above Juggernaut, it spawns in the Quick Revive, it spawns in multiple places. But anyways, now we head over to the guillotine, and we get another little segment from Rick Toff. Ah, perfect! On the guillotine! Find and bring the box to this location. Together we will port Maxis! Don't worry, we don't actually need to cut off his head. I was talking metaphorically. Although decapitations can follow if time permits. Mm -hmm. Anyways, now, 
now we have to start building the term, the guillotine. The first part we want to go to is the satellite dish. It is right above the guillotine as you start. So I pick it up and you go put it right on top of the guillotine. You get another speech indicator saying you did it right from Mertoffin. Okay, now, as you see, I just picked the wiring. That's where I told you it was going to be. You also need to put the PDW on the wall. That is essential for the last part, and it is the best gun to use for target practice. Okay, and you should get another speech indicator here. All right, now we're on to get the second part. The second part is, act no, the third part, sorry. Third part is actually the crystals. I actually had to cut it out here because I did a little fail where I fell down. Right. Anyways, the crystals are, you can either go two ways, from Quick Revive and go past the couch, turn right, or as you saw I did, go from the saloon, jump across the gap, don't fall down, and you can pick up the crystals up there. Once you put those on, you should get another speech indicator from Mertoffin. Okay, now after he has his little time there, no one really knows what's going on, the last and final part is actually in the barn. It's the antenna. So you do, you go over, you pick it up, and we take it straight back to the guillotine. This is the last part, and once you put it on, you should get a final speech indicator saying he's sorry for being cryptic, he can't see, and basically that's the second step. The second step, you need the paralyzer, because now you've got to start charging some orbs. Anyway, so we come over, we put it on the guillotine, and we get this. Okay, 